for trying. What's up everybody, Krista here and welcome back to the channel. So we're back to getting some work done on the Dale 30. So pretty excited about this one. I've always been real sort of shy around electronics and all that sort of stuff. Always been a big fan of the analog stuff because my weakest link when it comes to tutoring on cars and stuff has always been like the electronics and computer stuff and all the bleep bloop type stuff. So I priced up, I was just gonna pretty much go full set of analog gauges, so rev, Amp, oil pressure, and it's gonna go auto gauge, like autometer, decent brand gauges for the whole lot. But then that added up, it was gonna be pretty, pretty expensive. And because electronics are my weakest link, I thought, oh, screw it, I'm gonna try and learn more about all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd start off real basic. So I'm gonna wire in an OBD2 port to the ECU in the E30, and I decided to splash out, and we've got a Lenovo tablet to use for a dash and an OBD2 link. Hopefully gonna be using the real dash app. So I'm gonna give that a go. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I just bought like a hard case for this. I think this is like 130 bucks. Something like it was only like a cheap one. They're not very grunty. Figured I'm gonna melt this up in the dash. Um, looks like there is a bit of lag in the with the Bluetooth. I think it's still gonna be better than nothing. Um, at the moment, I'm just running like a shitty ass analog water temp gauge and a real Chinese little LCD gauge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bang this on charge and we're gonna shoot the pyro, um, grab an OVD2 port from the wreckers, and then pretty much come back and start wiring it in and hopefully by the end of today, we'll have a pretty boy dash. Pass up a McCafe coffee. May as well hit the drive through. Make this so tight. How's it going, Code? Please get a large cappuccino. Can I get two sugars in there, please? Yeah, was there anything else? I probably should have gone that way. Thank you very much. Cheers. Sweet guys, got a OBD2. It's even got a nice little cap, look at that. Ooh. So we'll go, we're just gonna move some of those pins around. I've got some springs too. We had a couple of, oh, lost one already. So I grabbed a couple of little extension springs because I just want to make the throttle pedal a bit stiffer. Because at the moment, as soon as you touch it, it pretty much just goes straight to the limiter because it's real hard to balance your foot on half gas. Um, so I just want to make the gas pedal a bit stiffer. So we'll head back to YH now and get into it. Alrighty guys, so we just got back, obviously you got the OBD, now I'll get some better light in here. Inside this little loom here somewhere is where I left the OBD2 serial data cable. So I just need to pretty much open up that loom wrap, try and find that. I'm thinking of just mounting it maybe on this alloy box here somewhere. I'll get a light set up in here so we can see and then try and find that. There's enough pins in here, move those wires around in the pins and then just connect it up to my wires. So. Alrighty guys, so we managed to find the OBD, -T, OBD cable serial data wire in the loom. So I just pulled this apart and just pulled the pins out. So we've got pin number two, which is our serial data, which will connect to that wire. We have two earth, two different model LSs. You can just earth them both just to be sure. Positive, which is in pin 16 down the bottom here. So all we've got is pin two, pin four, pin five, and pin 16. And that should theoretically, theoretically let the ECU talk to our OBD link. So what I'm gonna do is it came with this, I don't know what car it was out of. So I'm just gonna cut this bracket, cut this bracket around here and pretty much use this little piece to mount it in the car. Save running a cable tie or whatever around this. To try and keep it nice and tidy. All right, I forgot to push a cord while I was cutting it. But this is how it turned out. I'll give it a clean up around. I'll just put a couple of rivets in that to hold it. 
should be pretty hot rod. guys so literally just got that all hooked up this positive wire here i'll hide inside that loom eventually i just want to check that everything actually works properly hopefully it should stay there nicely it's all nice and tidied away and earth nicely right finally got in i'm just going to try and figure out i don't even know what you're supposed to buy the apps through google go maybe Play Store? Don't know. I literally know nothing about Android. Alrighty guys, it's a moment of truth. So the got to the point to the app where you gotta connect it to the sender, plug that in. The battery on. There's a little blinking light. I'm like way more excited than I should be. It's like the most basic of electronics, but OBD2 option. Next, Bluetooth. All right. I'm gonna try it. Alrighty guys, not gonna lie, I'm way more excited about this than I should be. Just mounted up the case for it. So you can see it's just sitting in there. And it's just, the tablet just pops out of the case. One thing I'm gonna have to do is wire in a 12 volt little charging port for if it stays in there for ages, just plug it in so it can stay charged. I'm gonna have a look through the different dashes and stuff. There's some extras you can buy on the whole real dash app thing. Um, Set on that thing too, if you buy the full version, you get like data logging and stuff, but I don't know how, I'm gonna look into how good that data logging is. Might be all right for seeing like spikes in temperature and shit like that. But yeah, I'm just super pumped. It looks sweet, I can get rid of this Chinese piece of shit now. Oh, look at that. Got the volts, air fuel ratio. Must be the spark advance and retard. The only thing I have noticed, might be on some of the different dashes when I have a look through, is the oil pressure. I do want to get uh, make sure I've got a decent oil pressure gauge. So I probably will end up buying another auto gauge on or something just to have on the dash, just to, so I know if it suddenly loses oil pressure and go straight to the danger zone, I can turn it off. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty good progress for today. And um, now it literally is just hurry up and wait for a track day. Hopefully that's not too far away. I'll have a look, see if there's anything on down in Calpo anytime soon. Anyway guys, just checking out this video and we'll see you in the next one.